Hey guys, this is part two of how to make a landmine trip line or a clay ball type thing. So you, you have your basic thing. I did more drilling and I secured it all more, glued some stuff. You can glue the spring to the bottom. I did that. It helps. And uh, you take this piece now, you take the board, you put it on the and you're going to want to put that on there. Just like that. And you want to kind of make a bend in it. Kind of want to bend it so it'll like go where you want it to go, so it won't just fly straight up and do a burst. So you want to bend it like that. And get all. So I'm gonna do that. Bend and it'll go like that. There's this bend here, you can just cut that off to look nicer. Seal with this tape. Now, here, since the BBs might go through it, because the spring is actually pretty powerful, it's got a, This has about 150 FPS, maybe a little more. Somewhere around there. And, uh, yeah, it's decent. I use it sometimes. So that's basically it. Except for the fact that you want to just cut out the piece at the bottom again. But you won't need the borders this time. You only need that one board. Now you take the grenade thing. And you can put more like a platform. I, I'll do that. But I'm gonna use this something stronger like cardboard. And you now this is what you you actually need with this. I'm just gonna put this tape down here. It's not taped up. Okay, like this. Now you got the basic thing, you know, it'll if you you want to tilt it a little forward too, because after they trip it, it's gonna take a while to explode. So a little forward. But a little towards it, kind of like in between, like straight and towards it. So, uh, after you make that, you your platform, but I'm gonna make it out of cardboard. All you do is you just tape it on there. You can put like a support beam or something. So, yeah. And, uh, pretty much. It's pretty good. Uh, and oh yeah, you're gonna want to take this, cut it out, cut out a little square. You know how you did before for the bottom, but this one you're gonna want to just have one piece, or you can have more too. You can just use one piece. Out. And you're gonna want to load about 40 BBs, but you can also use BBs off the ground. So that's what you should use. You'll just waste BBs if you don't. Then again, it might not go off or not. Uh, yep. Uh, no. Unless you tape it to it, uh, you're going to want to put it in there every time it, it might pop up sometimes. So, yeah. No. Um, yeah, that's about it. And if you do have this, you just take it with a little piece. Like this one's old, so it's not. Okay. 
slot. Or you're gonna just grab a lid up. But not too thick because you want to be used to be able to go through it with ease. So you go like this. And then you just cover it. And they'll come up. It'll have lower FPS, so if you play with um like guys don't like IFPS FPS guns or something. Just tape that on there like that. Just put like two little pieces of tape. And the OBBs will just like shoot through it or it'll come off. You can also put marked movies in here. That's good too. Uh, you can see in my next video, I'll show you how to make some marker BBs. But they're only used for this. They'll kind of wreck your guns if you use them again. Or grenades. But yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye.